What's up guys and welcome to round four of the Kenosha Wisconsin Battle Road between Isaac Soto on the left and Derek Cranky on the right. Now both of these players are undefeated up to this point. They will be 3-0. So we'll see who emerges as 4-0 still having a shot to be undefeated and winning this battle road and who will drop down have to fight his way for more championship points if possible. So it looks like Isaac will be going first. He's starting with that Zekrom EX, the promo art. And he is playing, obviously, Zekrom Electric. You don't really see Zekrom EX featured in many decks without Electric. And you can see the Swablu from Derek's side. A bit of a scary start, honestly. If Isaac were playing the uh, Shiny Rayquaza and he got that out this turn, he could hit for 40 in Dragon Pulse or even like a Mewtwo Double Colorless which he does have a double colorless in hand, uh, that would be a knockout as well. But it doesn't look like he'll have those cards. Um, he'll, he only has a Bianca in hand. He's going to play the Sky Hero Bridge. Um, he'll be drawing two cards probably. So not worth it to go for it. So he, he realizes that, yeah, I could draw Mewtwo and, double col or Mewtwo and switch off my two cards, but geez, that's not going to happen. But there's Mewtwo. <laughs> oh, okay, no switch though. So he... Could have had one of those, uh, you kidding me moments? Uh, I would have just won the game. But he made definitely the better play, drawn the extra card there. Uh, he just attached to the active Zekrom EX, and Derek can breathe in a sigh of relief as he survives the turn. So, when you see Swab Blue, that obviously means the Garchomp Altaria deck, which is definitely what we will be seeing. And, um, yeah, I guess we'll just see what happens. This is a strange matchup, to be honest. It'll all depend on how quickly both players get set up. And right now, Derek is using a random receiver to reveal a ton of cards. Gets a Juniper off of that. Not sure if that's what he wanted. He has a Bianca in hand already. Didn't quite see what else he had, but... I don't know if he wants to discard a bunch of cards. Playing Juniper on this turn? Not too sure. But, yeah, a lot of this matchup comes down to how quickly Isaac will set up. And if he can get Max Potion, if he plays them. Um, of course, he wants to be targeting down those Altarias. Get um, easy knockouts. And, uh, you know, take away Derek's Energy Acceleration. And also, Zekrom EX is huge in this matchup because Strong Volt does 150 and knocks out Garchomp in one hit. So you can really just take out Garchomps in one shot and then... If you take a hit and play Max Potion, that is absolutely devastating. I mean, you just basically shrug the hit off and say, alright, who's next? Now, the Sky Hero Bridge was actually very good for Derek. Um, it was very fortunate for him, because it gave his Swablu free retreat. He got to use Call for Family with Emolga and search for two Gibbles on his first turn, which is really nice. If uh, if Isaac had not, had not been forced to play the Sky Arrow, then that wouldn't have been an issue. But yikes, Isaac has a, a ridiculous start here. Turn 2, he gets 2 Lightning in the discard with the Juniper. He's going to catch her out to Swablu. Glinting Claw. You know, pretty much just swipe away that Swablu. And he'll also get to use Dynamotor this turn as well. Uh, he only gets 1 Electric out. No additional Dynamos yet. That's the really only thing wrong with his start but he will get an energy on a Mewtwo and if you're Derek you gotta be feeling pretty scared uh, you just lost to Swablu your opponent's got a turn 2 Zekrom EX pounding on your door but honestly his hand is pretty nice he's got a rare candy he's got a Gabite he's got a level ball so if he really wants to he can just go Gabite Dragon Call for Garchomp get an energy, and then Mach Cut discarding the double colas off of that Zekrom EX, and that's going to put Isaac in a tough spot. Normally you like to wait until you're all set up and all that good stuff, but I think in this situation, Derek should probably just cut his losses and say, you know what, um, I need to deal with the Zekrom EX right now. I need to use Mach Cut to discard that double colas, because if it gets too many energy on it, it's going to just take too many prizes before I'm set up. And then I'm probably going to lose. So, we'll see what he does. He's got a Bianca. Looks like two Biancas and a Juniper in hand. 
And he draws another Gabite. He has not used Dragon Call. And oh, it looks like he's actually going to be more conservative with this. Uh, he's just going to evolve to another Gabite. Uh, he can use Dragon Call this turn. We do see Stunfisk in his deck as well. But it looks like he missed his window of opportunity to use that little guy. Uh, he's going to Dragon Call twice. And he's making an interesting decision on his bench. Now, with this deck, bench management is really the main issue. You want a healthy balance of Swablus and Gibbles early on. And I don't know if Derek did this properly. He's getting out four Gibbles. I mean, two Gabites, two Gibbles. And only leaving himself one spot for a Swablu. So he's really not going to have any options for Altaria for this game. Uh, if, if Isaac keeps catching out a Swablu... Derek's never going to get that plus 20 damage from Fight Song, and if he doesn't get the additional damage, then, I mean, your deck kind of falls apart. Garchomp is a solid attacker, but it's not great unless Altaria's out there, you know, doing 60 and 100. Not as good as doing, say, 80 or 100 for one with Mop Cut, once you have those Altarias out there. So I think Derek should have just went ahead and, I mean, if he was going to take this route, just use Call for Family, get uh, another Swablu out there. Usually a balance of like three Gibbles, two Swablus, and a Molga is good. If you don't have to have a Molga on your field, then obviously you go three and three. But if you ever have to have four of one Pokemon out there, that's usually not going to end up very well. So Isaac once again will catch out that Swablu. And we did see Derek actually Static Shock with the Molga for 20. Don't see that very often, but it does come up. And Isaac, he's going to play an N. That Zekrom EX is still going strong. He's going to take two prizes right off the bat. And he's also powered up his Mewtwo a little more. So, that's going to be a threat. It's got three energy on the bench. Zekrom EX has three energy active. He also draws an Eeveelite off of his N. So he could play that. Uh, he still has a Dynamotor. He's going to power up his Mewtwo, it looks like. It's four energy on Mewtwo. Uh, once he gets six, that just wipes out all Garchomp's. And it looks like he's just going to be content to put the Eeveelite on his Zekrom EX. And Glinting Claw once again for another prize. Now it'll be up to Derek to respond. Obviously he'll have access to, you know, Garchomp this turn. He has Gabite to Dragon Call. And he should be just fine setting up Garchomps for the rest of the game. But like I said, just Garchomp alone, not the greatest. And we might see that here. I don't know if Derek plays Terrakian or anything, but if he did, he doesn't have an energy on board to energy switch. You can only do basic energy for uh, energy switch. So I don't know if he plays that, but if he does, it's not even an option this turn. He's going to Dragon Call once, twice, and he gets a third one. Let's see what he gets with number three. He's got three Gabites in play. They, they do stack. You can use multiples if you have them. Which is why this Garchomp deck is actually very consistent. Once you get one Gabite out, you get another one, you get another one, and then you get all your Pokemon. Uh, it all sets up very, very quickly. It's just, the problem with this deck is that it kind of fizzles out. The bench space is an issue. And if your opponent takes away your Altarias, then you're just kind of not getting anywhere. And we do see here, look, I mean, there's three Garchomps on board. This is turn three. But will he be able to actually win? Um, right now, Mach Cut's only doing 40 to that Zekrom EX. He has another Swablu, which he'll need to bench. Because he can't win without Altaria. He's just not going to stack up very well against these EXs. And, I I mean, he's going to hit for 40 this turn, discarding the Double Call list. That's going to be the bright side. He gets to discard the Double Call list and avoid Strong Volt knocking him out. But after that, he can't even use Dragon Blade to get a knockout. Because it'll only do 80. That's not going to be enough. Uh, the Zekrom EX is going to be at 60 damage. It has 180 hit points. And I just... I'm not sure what Derek's plan here is. Or is here. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to Yoda talk for a second. But... Uh, I guess all he's going to do now is say, I'm going to do what 
I mean, the only thing I can do, which is attack with Garchomp. Um, if he attacked with the other one and used Dragon Blade for 80, sure, he would set up a two-hit knockout, but then Isaac could just attach a Lightning and Strong Volt, and there's nothing he could do about it. I mean, if he mock cuts for 40, he gets to discard the double coalesce, he prevents the, the Strong Volt, but then he doesn't get to knock him out next turn. If he uses Dragon Blade, then Isaac just attaches, knocks him out, and he's left with no energy in play to use Dragon Blade the next turn. So he's kind of stuck in a lose-lose situation. Which, I mean, it's unfortunate, but this is what happens when there's no Altarius out there. Uh, so, Derek will be using Mach Cut this turn, I'm sure. And he just end Isaac. Isaac has already played two catchers, so odds are he will not have another one this turn. Which is what Derek is really hoping for. He really needs Altaria in play, so he's just kind of hoping, alright. Uh, I need you to work with me here, Isaac. Don't draw another catcher, please. <laughs> And we'll see what Isaac gets. He actually got a pretty solid hand off that end. He got a Lightning, a Bianca, an Ultra Ball, and I think he drew a Juniper for the turn. So these are all big, big cards to get. He's going to get two more Tynamos down this turn, uh, correctly identifying what he needs next. Because, I mean, you want more Tynamos because you need more Electrics out eventually. So I like that he Ultra Balled for another Tynamo. He's going to get a Juniper for 7, and if he draws the right cards, he can actually just X-Ball for a knockout. Let's see, did he draw the right cards, though? Uh, he drew the double colorless he needed, but I don't think he got a switch. So he's only got one Dynamotor. It's only going to be 5 energy on his Mewtwo, so it won't be enough for him to get a knockout here. So he could just attach to the active and catch her out of Swablu again, because he did draw a catcher. And then Glinting Claw for his third prize, and then he'll be safe from any sort of knockout. I think that's probably his best option. You know, just use Dynamotor here onto Mewtwo, attach the DCE to the active, and go from there. But it looks like he's actually going to retreat. Maybe he's gotten ahead of himself, thinking, oops, uh, oh, maybe I don't have enough to X-Ball. <laughs> uh, that would only do 120. And I don't want to do that. I want to take a prize. So he's got a catcher. He's actually got his two remaining catchers in hand. I think. Yeah, that's actually pretty big. And poor Swablu is just a big target in this game. Third one going down. Three prizes, three Swablus. And there's a fierce looking Mewtwo up there. But that does not have an Eviolite. Um, so this is somewhat of, you know, of a relief for Derek. There's no Eviolite on it, so... If he can manage to get an Altaria out finally, which he super huds three Swablus back in the deck. So he has a level ball in hand as well. He can get another Swablu, and then next turn he can get an Altaria. So he can use Mock Cut for 60, discarding the double colorless. And that means he's also not going to be knocked out, because Mewtwo won't have enough energy. And then next turn get the Altaria, Dragon Blade, hit for 120, and get a knockout. And it won't be, you know... Uh, enough to like even the prizes out but it's the start of a comeback which is all he can really ask for again his bench space is just going to be what's going to hold him back uh, he does not have room for two Altarias which is what you really need once these EXs get EV lights on them unless you play Tool Scrapper you really need two Altarias in play so the bench issue is just going to be what's going to prevent Derek from actually coming back this game Imagine if he had one more bench spot open for a second Altaria. He could have... I mean, if he gets two Altarias out, he can Dragon Blade, which does 140 minus 20, which still knocks out that Zekrom EX. And that is the difference between being able to come back and still being beaten down by a heavily damaged Zekrom EX. So you can see here just how one bench spot can absolutely change the course of the game. Now we'll see what Derek decides to do. Uh, looks like he's attaching a second energy to that Garchomp. Uh, I I don't think he should use Dragon Blade this turn. He should definitely just mock cut. At this point, you just have to assume that Isaac does not have his fourth catcher. Because it's pretty unlucky for you if he does. 
And, you know, just mock cut. Discard the double colorless. Make sure that Mewtwo does not just destroy you completely. And go from there. But it looks like Derek is going to take a different approach. I don't know if he'll actually attack with that Garchomp, but he's going to keep that as an option for himself. Uh, and yeah, it looks like he actually will attack with that one. So he is giving up a prize for sure this turn. And just going ahead with the Dragon Blade for 100. Now this actually does set it up for sure that he will get a knockout next turn. But it also means he's going to go down four prizes before he even takes one. So it's good and bad. We'll see. Uh, if he can hit an N at some point, he might be able to make a big comeback. That's going to be his uh, main way to get back in this game. But who knows? Isaac could always draw out of it. Um, and Derek doesn't actually have an N in hand, I don't think. But Isaac does have a max potion in his hand. He should probably play that on his Zekrom EX. Heal that up. And then charge it up for future turns. And, uh, you know, if he can keep powering that up, just Strong Bolt is going to knock out all of Derek's guard jumps. And that's pretty much going to be the game. He should just kind of accept that his Mewtwo is going to be knocked out. No real reason to heal that off. If he does, he doesn't really have an option to get a knockout this turn. Uh, he could always just use his fourth catcher to go for uh, Swablu, I suppose, if he really wants to. But he might want to save that as like a last prize sort of thing. Um, so he will max potion the Zekrom EX. I like that play a lot. And then Dynamotor the energy back and attach. But we'll see if he decides to just knock out the active or catcher that's Swablu. I don't mind either one. Knocking out a Garchomp with two energy is always going to be strong. Taking out the Swablu also is going to be strong. So we'll, we'll see which one Isaac decides to go for. Um, saving the catcher gives you more options later. You know, if I mean, he's already at three prizes, so he's just going to attack and knock out the Garchomp. Um, so if he saves the catcher for later, he could pull off some uh, fluky win where if he, he, he'll get down to one prize for sure. Next turn, he has a strong bolt once this Mewtwo gets knocked out, and there's nothing Derek can do about that. So after he gets down to one prize, uh, the Emolga is still on board. He could actually power up his Electric. And if he draws his catcher, he'll win with an Electric Ball. Because the Emolga is weak to Lightning. So saving the catcher there gives you the most options. You're so far ahead that you don't really mind if Derek gets Altarius into play anymore. You're pretty fully set up. You just want to give yourself the best options to take your remaining two prizes. And it looks like what's what he's going to do. Uh, Derek, I don't believe he's played a supporter this turn. So he definitely needs to do that. He needs to get an N or something. He needs... Uh, he can either go for the random receiver or play the Juniper to draw into an N. But he definitely needs an N either way. Uh, but it looks like he's deciding not to. And he gets an N off his prizes. So that it's going to be big. Next turn he's going to N Isaac down to 1 unless Isaac does it first. <laughs> so this is going to be a close finish. Isaac definitely has the advantage. But who knows? Anything can happen. Now, I think the best move for Isaac at this point is to catch her out a Swablu. And then Dynamo her twice to Zekrom EX and just Glint and Claw for the knockout. So then, it doesn't really matter what Derek does. He'll just be able to Strong Bolt. Game over. That, that's all there is to it. He'll win the game. So he needs to just Dynamo her two Lightning onto Zekrom EX. Use his catcher this turn. Glinting Claw, the Swablu, and then Derek cannot avoid a Strong Volt knockout for the win. There's just no way for that to happen. But it looks like he's just going to be content to Strong Volt this turn. I'm not sure why he's deciding to go with this instead of the Catcher route. Uh, it pretty much just guarantees your win if you go for the Catcher route. Maybe he's just being a little scared of stuff of like, uh, I don't know... Uh, if Derek were to drop a Terrakian and a Tool Scrapper, but that's pretty unlikely. That's a lot of cards to have in your hand. And a lot of probably single cards to have in your hand. So I think it would be better for Isaac in this situation to play the catcher. He pretty much just automatically wins in that situation, unless his Zekrom EX gets knocked out. So a bit of a misstep there. I, I definitely think that could be a missed opportunity. He's leaving himself open to the big end-to-one play, 
where Derek certainly could come back. Um, this is going to come down to what Isaac draws. If he doesn't draw any energy or anything, I think he might lose his Zekrom EX in two turns. So really he's, I mean, he's got like three or four turns to draw something, but it's a perfect possibility that he's only getting one card. He might not draw another attacker this game. He needs an attacker or a catcher at some point. Otherwise, he's going to lose. Now, he does draw a Mewtwo. That is an attacker. <laughs> and that's going to help him out quite a bit. But we will see. I'm not sure how he's going to approach this one the rest of the way. There are a lot of little decisions here and there that can impact the outcome of this game. Uh, Derek will use Dragon Blade for 120 here. And it looks like Isaac gets a Raikou EX. That is a really big deal. He's got at least two lightning in the discard. So he's going to put two lightning on the Raikou. And he's pretty much just going to threaten the game winning Volt Bolt at some point. Um, Derek could pull off some things with catchers. If Isaac does not have any energy left in his discard pile, he could just keep catching out electrics and win that way. But it looks like there is a lightning in his discard pile, so there's nothing Derek can do. Unless he can knock out the Raikou this turn, uh, it's just going to be game over. There's nothing for him to do anymore. There are four targets on his bench for Volt Bolt, and Isaac will clearly take the last prize here. And that will be the game. I mean, Derek's just trying to find a way out. Maybe if he played Terrakian, he could get something, but nope, that's going to be it. Derek says good game. Uh, he realizes that there's nothing he can do about it, <laughs> and that's going to be the match. Isaac will move to 4-0 here at the Kenosha, Wisconsin Battle Road, taking down the Garchomp Altaria deck in an interesting game where uh, Derek just couldn't get his Altarias out in time, and Isaac had a pretty fast start and just took him down. So thanks for watching, guys. We have two more rounds to go from this Battle Road. We'll see what happens in the next rounds, see what other decks are doing well, and I will see you guys next time.